my client here is a rolfer. So she uses her hands, uses her wrists all day long, right? Mm -hmm. Imparting forces through people's bodies. On the left wrist, you have relative strength in the lateral ligamentous complex. I'm pinching pisiform and the ulnar styloid. And there's just a little bit of give. You can see a little bit of, of yielding. And as she pointed out to me, there's considerable yield in the right wrist. And that styloid is pretty prominent. Okay, and just, just, uh, just relax it. Look at all that movement. That's considerable. That's distinct laxity. Okay, you can also find laxity when we test this gapping maneuver. Okay, I'm calling this a varus, and I'm calling this a valgus maneuver. And if I glide, there's considerable glide medially of the wrist. And on this side, I hope the camera has that. Okay, so on the left side, there's, there's no medial glide. So this is certainly lax, which she describes. But we also find some inhibition in her pronators. Let me change the camera angle. Okay, so what I want you to do when I tell you do not let me supinate your forearm. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. On a count of three, one, two, three, don't let me do it. And we tested the other side and I was unable to break the other side. This side I can break. What she has also is she has a proximal uh, problem with the, uh, with the radius. The radius was tractioned inferiorly and I can't get any additional play going inferiorly on the radius and I can't get any superior play either. If we try the other arm, you feel that little bit of play there? Mm -hmm. A little bit of inferior traction mm -hmm. and a little bit of superior glide of the radius. It doesn't matter what position your arm is in. I mean, you can, you can test it in, in full supination and there's still play. Um, again, on the, on the right, there's no traction mobility there. No. And there's a deeper sulcus here. And what I'm suggesting is that you had a traction injury and it pulled the radial head, the whole radius, it pulled it inferiorly at the radio ulnar joint. And so what I want to do is glide the radius back up. And I also notice that when you supinate, this elbow, we don't see much proximal mobility at end range of supination. When we do it on the other side, you see movement translating through the whole range. And I know that might be difficult for the camera angle. I know that the person viewing this might not be able to pick up on that subtlety, but it's something that I appreciate and I think you appreciate that as well. Yes. So let's stop <clears throat> filming here. I want to treat that radius and glide it back up and see if we achieve, achieve any change in your strength.